Hey guys, Katie Mild. Welcome to this week's Money Minute. So this week I want to dive into shame and regret around money. So what I find so often when I'm out teaching, when I'm out coaching, so many clients express deep, deep regret or shame around some of their past money mistakes. Here's the thing. We're human. Inevitably, we will make mistakes in pretty much every area of our life. But it's so easy to stay in that place of shame, to stay in that place of guilt, to stay in that shame, in that place of shame. So the problem with continuing to dwell in that space when you stay there mentally is it keeps you in this perpetual state of basically mentally flogging yourself. If we stay in a negative state over time, it becomes harder and harder to let go to learn something, and to move on from it. And if we stay in that state too long, we become that state more and more and more. If you dwell on past mistakes, if you don't move on from them, you will keep making those same mistakes over and over and over again. So what do we do? There are three steps if you've made what you think is a money error, a money mistake, three steps that you can do to get completely turned around, to start to get your head on straight, and to take a lesson and learn. So the first step, Accept the mistake for what it was. Quite simply, you have to face the music. You have to get out of denial and say, yes, I made this mistake. You have to own it. It's only when you can start to take ownership of the mistake that you can then take ownership of the solution and ownership of the path forward and what you will do with it. So the first step is to accept the ownership of the mistake. The second step is to challenge yourself to find the lesson Inevitably, in any mistake, there is a lesson to be learned. What happens is when people choose not to take a lesson from it, when they choose not to really face the music on it, that's when they make the mistake over and over again. That's where they stay in shame. That's where they stay in denial and nothing effective, nothing productive gets done. So what lesson can you learn? What can you approve upon? What can be the takeaway and how can you evolve as a person from this mistake? Challenge yourself to ask this question multiple times and look for as many lessons as you can. The more you can learn, the quicker you can recover. And then the last step is go on the offense. And when you go on the offense, that actually starts you on the step to, again, taking ownership and forgiving yourself for your money mistake. So when you go on the offense, what can you actively do now to remedy the situation? And if you can't do anything to remedy, if you did something and it's done and that's that, okay, so then what can you do to learn from it and set yourself up for future success? So I'm going to take you through a real money mistake that I made when I was younger and what I learned from it and how I flipped the script. So my real life example of a money mistake I made. Now, it started out just fine. When I was 19 years old in college, I opened my very first IRA. Super cool. And I always encourage people, open your IRAs, open savings accounts, open investment vehicles as young as you can. So start it off great, right? Here's where I made a mistake. At that time in my life, I should have opened a Roth IRA, but I didn't. I opened a traditional. Now, I didn't know it at the time. I made the best decision I could with the information that I had at 19 years old. But I learned very quickly, oh, should have opened a Roth, not a traditional for my life situation. And then... When I opened the traditional IRA, initially, I only invested in single stocks. I should have been investing in diversified index funds, but I didn't do that. I bought a bunch of single stocks. By the way, fun side note, the very first stock I ever bought was a beer stock. It was a Red Hook Brewery, which later became the Craft Brewers Alliance. So it was fun. I was a college kid. I drank beer. Why not open a beer or why not own beer stock? So it was super fun and I learned a lot from it and it kept it kind of fun and quirky and exciting for me. But the mistake is I could have been investing in diversified index funds and made even more over time. So I didn't realize my mistakes initially. It actually took several years. It took time, education, and the more that I learned about personal finance, I began to see my mistakes in hindsight. Oops. Okay. So First step, I accepted that in theory, I opened the wrong IRA for my life situation, but I also made sure to celebrate the fact that at least I opened it at a very young age and I took the time to really understand savings, investing, and the discipline that comes with those. So it wasn't a total loss. Okay, so I accepted my error. Then I did the logistical work of figuring it out. 
I started converting the funds from the traditional into a Roth. It required a few years of patience and coordination with my CPA to make it happen and, the, and handle the associated tax implications that came with that conversion, right? But I had to do the homework and do the logistical work to get things squared away into a Roth IRA. And then with time, got rid of the individual stocks and instead invested in diversified index funds that make sense for my risk tolerance and my life situation. So the lessons I learned, I learned how IRAs work. I learned about the tax implications. I learned about the importance of trying to set up for success the right way initially, right? Those were the lessons learned. That was the step two. And then finally, the step three, the offense. What have I done to remedy the situation? Oh, of course, I went ahead and switched everything from traditional to Roth, took care of that. But then to take it a step further, now I love having this conversation with clients. I travel and do keynote speeches. I talk about money and money management to agents, independent contractors, business owners around the country about the importance of staying up to date on your personal finance education. That's another way that I can remedy my past mistake and hope that others can learn from the mistakes that I made in the past. So there you have it. That's one of my quick examples of a money mistake I made that I was able to learn from and go on the offensive and turn things around for the better. If you like the content I'm putting out, ring the bell to subscribe so you never miss an update. And tell me in the comments below if you're willing to share what's a past money mistake that you made? What did you learn from it? And how can you improve and only get better? That's it for now. Have a great weekend. Talk to you all later.